Hi friends, this is Krish the Urban Naxal. Friends, today I am going to answer a question which I have been asked many times in private conversations. But I have answered them in private conversations but never once to the public openly like I am going to do now. The question that people ask me is, how can we believe you? Are you an expert? My answer is no, I am not an expert. There are many other people who know much more about real estate than I do. There are many, uh, you know, bodies like Jones Lang, LaSalle, and there are many channel partners who know the whole thing inside out. They know the game inside out. There are many builders. I'm sure they sit down with a lot of analysis, a lot of papers, charts. They know about the trends, they know about what is the future, what is the past and the history and everything. I am not like them. So I am not an expert. There must be many journalists in many newspapers, many TV channels who are definitely experts, who will definitely know more about the statistics and the actual trends and things like that than I do. There is only one thing that makes me different from all of them. I am not part of that game. They are all part of the game. They don't speak up. There is a chamber of commerce called Naredco, which is a chamber of commerce of these guys, of builders. There is another chamber of commerce, MCHI Credai. Sure, 100%, they know way more than I do. They must have commissioned so many studies which may have been carried out by Price Waterhouse or some such bodies. They must have commissioned a lot of studies, lot of they must be gathering a lot of information. So I am sure I am not an expert compared to any of them. The one thing that I do know is I am not part of their game and they are all journalists, even Bodies like Mumbai Grahak Panchayat. I am going to be a little controversial here, but bear with me. Bodies like Mumbai Grahak Panchayat, Consumer Guidance Society of India, etc. I am wondering, are they part of their game? Chambers of Commerce, 100% they are part of the game. They don't speak up against the malpractices of builders. But let me ask a question. There are bodies like RERA. There are bureaucrats like the chief of RERA who have all the expertise in the world to analyze the various documents, to analyze the agreement, the pro forma agreement of builders to see what is the effect of those agreements actually on the builders, on the, on the, on the uh, flat buyers, to analyze the allotment letter performers which are uploaded on RERA. Many of these guys can do it. Mumbai Grahak Panchayat could have done it. They can point out what is the effect of various clauses. They can point out the effects, the bad effects on the public of clauses like for future 10% of your amount will be forfeited and all this kind of thing. They don't speak out. They can make more videos than I can. If I make one video, they can make 10 videos in the same amount of time. They can make videos much better than me. Here I am standing inside my kitchen late in the night trying to avoid disturbing the members of my family. These guys could have a whole television studio. They have anchors who sound better than me. They have, you know, amazing voices and they are very convincing and they can show you charts and graphs and all those things. Why aren't they doing that? Why aren't the experts talking about the common man? Why aren't the experts talking about the effect of forfeiting people's money? Because, because they are part of the system. I am not part of that system. That is what makes me different. 
So who am I? I am not an expert. But I do know some things a little more than others. Because I see these things with the eyes of Daridra Narayan. I see these things with the eyes of the guy, the small guy, the little guy in the street who is affected. The guy who dreams of getting a loan of 20-30 lakhs and wants to buy a house of 30-40 lakhs and he struggles with a small salary and he goes around on a motorcycle all day doing his work, sales, whatever it is that he does struggling to keep his body and soul together and dreaming that one day he is going to own a flat and these guys exploit that guy and his family, his wife they know how vulnerable they are they fool them into coming into the sales office they talk about dream houses and they make him pay a token knowing that he is not going to get a proper loan he is not going to be eligible for that loan they make him pay a token and booking amount and 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs, 4 lakhs, 5 lakhs then force him to pay before he gets the loan approval they mislead him into believing that he will get the loan approval and they take away his money and then they say it is forfeited they know he is in the affordable segment the poor guy the poor guy can barely afford to buy a house he is slightly better than SRA the poor guy can barely afford to buy a house and they fool him and his family into paying their life savings 4-5 lakhs and taking a personal loan to pay another 3-4 lakhs they take away their money and then they let him discover he cannot go ahead and they say sorry our terms and conditions our rules you have signed on this application form and now the money is ours I am different I differ I oppose them that's where I am different the experts don't oppose them even bodies like Mumbai Grahak Panchayat who can raise voice against these things who are organized who are NGOs, who are recognized NGOs, unlike me, they are not individuals, they are a group of people. They have bandwidth, they have expertise. Bodies like Consumer Guidance Society of India and so many others. There are so many other names in, in different cities. And they don't do it. There are so many NGOs who may not necessarily be concerned with consumers or with real estate but they are concerned with common man and they have huge amount of funds they have offices they have secretaries there are NGOs okay let me name one there is a there is something called PCGT public concern for governance trust it has big names like Julio Ribeiro in it and Narayan Verma I mean Narayan Verma is dead and Julio Ribeiro is I am afraid a very very old man there were a few others like Jerson Dakuna in this South Bombay types there are lots of South Bombay NGO uh, types and lots of these South Bombay activists who are star activists and these star activists and these five star activists very well known they have access to the higher parts of the government they have access to mantralaya they don't seem to care they don't seem to raise a voice they can't study a pro forma agreement they don't have imagination I don't understand. I don't understand this. I don't understand the indifference to this burning problem. Do they not know what happens to the common man who goes to a builder's sales office? Am I to believe that nobody has gone to them 
with these problems? Am I to believe that nobody has gone to them who is affected with redevelopment? That they are ignorant of the problems of the refugees of redevelopment? Are they aware of the numbers of families in our city who are refugees of redevelopment? I don't believe this. I don't believe this. What I believe is somehow, somewhere people have become part of the game. They have become part of that big game for some reason either they are part of the conspiracy of silence or they are related to people who are beneficiaries of this conspiracy of silence. As for me, I'll tell you who I am exactly. Yes, I'm a journalist, I'm an activist. But I am like that guy on the road who comes to clear up whenever there is a traffic jam. Let me explain. I have exp experienced this. Sometimes I am driving with my family to South Bombay and there is a huge traffic jam at some junction somewhere and we are stuck there for half an hour and nothing is moving. Buses, rickshaws, cars, scooters, everything has got interlocked. Not an inch of space. Traffic cop nowhere to be seen. And then suddenly out of nowhere, this happens only in India and I am proud of this. Suddenly out of nowhere comes a guy in Hawaii chapels or just an out shirt and he is just looking very ordinary. He doesn't look like anybody who is big. He doesn't have any authority. But he assumes authority. And he tells the vehicles to move aside. He makes them move aside. He will stand in front of a bus and make the bus reverse a few inches. He will let a few vehicles go. He will snap at some drivers who are trying to be hasty and he will say, stop, wait, let me pass these other guys through. And he will allow some vehicles to pass through, create space, create enough space for the whole traffic jam to get unjammed. And then he disappears. I have seen this happen. I have seen, I have sat in my car, I have not even, not even gotten out of my car and I have seen it happen. And I have been thankful to that guy, whoever that guy was. But the guy wasn't around long enough for me to thank him. He wasn't waiting for anybody to thank him. He just went away. And this has happened so many times. You must have experienced it. I am proud of this. I am proud of this. This is my country. I am proud of my countrymen for doing these things. Because this is what we are made of. This is how we are. We take ownership of problems. That is who we are. That is how we are. If a problem arises, we will, someone, someone will get up and take ownership of the problem. In this case, I am that guy in the Hawaii chapel and the street. I am that guy clearing this traffic jam. I am that guy who knows this junction. I know this traffic junction. I know how it gets clogged up. I know how to clear it. I am not an expert. But I have been watching this traffic junction a long time. I have done this again and again. I have gotten people their tokens and their booking amounts and even more, sometimes even after agreement has been signed, I have managed to help people get their money back. It's not a thankless job. I am happy. It's not a thankless job. It's not even a sacrifice. I enjoy this. I do this because I enjoy it. There is no martyr's crown on my head. There is no crown of thorns on my head. I do this because I want to do this and I enjoy it. And I'm not an expert, but I know these things. I know these things. 
I know these things because I have been watching these things. And I talk to several people every day. Every day. I talk to three or four or five people who are aggrieved. Every day somebody sends me their agreement. Every day somebody sends me their allotment letter, their application form or narrates their problem to me. Most of them will not turn up in uh, on my YouTube channel. Most of these problems or many of these problems get resolved. They get their money back. The people who persevere the people who stay with the process, who keep fighting, sometimes for 15 days, sometimes for one month, sometimes for six months, the people who keep fighting, they get their money back. They get their solution. They get their justice. The people who lose faith, the people who get tired, the people who give up. Sorry, what can I do? What can I do? If they lose faith, if they lose confidence, if they don't have the will to fight, well then that's it. I got lots of things to fight for. I got many people to fight for. They just stand aside. They fall into silence. They drift away. And after a few months, I've forgotten all about them. That's how it is. This is the reality. But I'm still going to ask one very simple question and leave you with that. See these chambers of commerce, MCHI, Credi and all these builders with huge amounts of money, huge amounts, Lodha, Runwal. We are talking about hundreds of crores and thousands of crores. Their budgets I'm sure are like small, like the budgets of small cities. Huge amounts of money, huge paying power. They can run an entire YouTube channel to oppose me. They can oppose each and every video that I make. They can oppose each and every thing that I say. They can try to make me look like a fool and they can even maybe succeed. Because if someone says or you know, opposes me and disproves me, <coughs> he can make me look like a fool. He can. I'm sure I'm wrong sometimes. Out of 10 things that I say, maybe one thing is slightly wrong. I'm sure I have my places of ignorance. I know where my points of ignorance are. And if you catch me on my point of ignorance and ask me a question on that point of ignorance, I can be made to look like a fool. They can. They can do it. They can engage YouTubers who are more skillful than I am. MCHI Credi can issue a press release, they can hold a press conference, they can call me for a public debate. They can put their lawyers and their experts in front of me. They can utterly defeat me if they want. The question is, why don't they try? Why aren't they trying? Why isn't anybody trying? Why isn't anybody making a video? Saying, hey, you know what? Krish doesn't know what he's talking about. This is what it is. What Krish is saying is wrong. This is the truth. The truth is like this. Krish is saying something else. Why aren't they doing that? Why isn't any builder actually debating with me on the record? and saying, Krish, I am going to record a phone call with you and I am going to publish this in a video. Come on, let's start talking. And then start arguing with me. They don't have people. They don't have experts. Of course they do. But they are not doing it. And you know why they are not doing it? Because they don't want the public to think about the things that I say. And they know that the more they discuss it, even if they prove me wrong, the more they discuss it, the more these things which I discuss will come into public view, will come into public knowledge. And they don't want that. They want it to pass under your radar. That is why they don't do it. 
सो हियर आई एम नॉट अ ट्रैफिक हवलदार जस्ट अ गाय इन अ शर्ट एंड हवाई चप्पल्स स्टैंडिंग ऑन द क्रॉस रोड्स ट्राइंग टू क्लियर कर द ट्रैफिक ट्रैफिक जैम प्लेइंग द रोल ऑफ अ ट्रैफिक पुलिस मैन इन द रियल एस्टेट सेक्टर आई एम नॉट एन एक्सपर्ट देर आर पीपल हु आर एक्सपर्ट्स बट दे आर ऑल साइलेंट दिस इज द सीन कैन यू गाइज गेट दिस सीन टू चेंज एंड नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू अड्रेस पीपल लाइक मुंबई ग्राहक पंचायत ओके आई होप मुंबई ग्राहक पंचायत सीज दिस आई वॉन्ट देम टू पुट आउट अ प्रेस रिलीज I want them to make more videos. I want them to make videos on different topics like allotment letter and application form. What is a proper application form? Which terms and conditions are proper? Which terms and conditions are improper? What is lawful? What is unlawful? What is a one-sided contract? Is Lodha's contract one-sided? Is Runwal's contract one-sided? How? which clauses of the pro forma agreement should be struck off which one should be modified how i want mumbai grahak panchayat consumer guidance society of india public concern for governance trust all these guys to apply their mind because this is what will help the common man this is what consumer education is all about you have to educate the common man you have to educate him about his his rights you have to educate him about what is proper and what is improper in the documents that he signs are you guys going to do that or not i would like all these people to sit up and take notice if they think i have said something defamatory about them I would absolutely love it if these guys go to court and sue me for defamation. I want them to sue me for defamation if that is the best they can do. Otherwise, I suggest that people who are experts stop being part of the conspiracy of silence, stop being part of the game and start speaking up on behalf of the common man. दरिद्र नारायण गॉड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द पुअर द ऑर्डिनरी आई एम कृष्ण देवर बन नक्सल जय महाराष्ट्र जय हिंद जय जवान जय किसान